Hey guys, this is Tiffany with the Nerdettes, and wow, okay, so just got done watching the newest Walking Dead. I know I'm behind because Kanuga, you know, having some recovery time, so I apologize, but I finally got to watch it, and if you haven't seen it, we did unbox all the special editions, two through six, so check those out, so you can see me unbox all these, I uh, happen to have one beside me, so check those out, and uh, let me know what you think, I was really excited to unbox those for you guys, so check those out, but uh, yeah, this uh, episode is called Honor, and um, I mean, basically, we've been having these flash forwards, I guess, this whole uh, arc recently where Rick is older, he's got like a cane and this, uh, white hair or grayish white, uh, beard and hair. And, uh, basically now we know, you know, it's been flashing forward. Sorry, I'm going to back up a little bit, but, uh, so yeah, I mean, it shows we've known this has been happening. If you, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the tirade that, uh, Chandler Riggs, uh, Carl, uh, his dad went on social media about them firing his son. I'm not really sure what happened. I mean, it's like a, he said, she said, you know, uh, I'm not one to speculate or try to give my opinion because we don't really know the full story. Uh, you've got to ask every party involved to really kind of narrow it down and get at least a, an idea of the story. So obviously I'm not able to do that. So I don't really know the full story, so I'm not going to try to speculate, but um, I mean, we know that he was really upset that Chandler got fired or let go or whatever. Um, uh, so we knew at some point this was coming. Um, and obviously now we know he got bitten. Uh, Carl got bitten. So, uh, we see Rick and Michonne digging. I mean, this whole episode is pretty much Carl's goodbye. And I mean, essentially this episode is all about Carl's goodbye and, Morgan's spiral backwards because ever since he he did so well after he read the art of peace and you know progressed into the character that he was for a while uh and now he's going back to that dark place so I mean we'll see what happens with that I don't know but anyways uh it goes it does of you know we see Carl Michonne or well you know Michonne's you know, her f memories of Carl, we see her and Rick digging what we presume is a grave. Uh, we go back in time to see when Carl got bitten, and we actually see it for the first time. And uh, basically, it's in the scuffle, and we see him get bitten. So, then we see Carl writing letters. Carl's writing letters to Carl, uh, from, like, from him and his kind of, you know, zombie-bitten state you know, to Rick, to Michonne, to Enid, uh, to Judith, uh, and who knows who else. I'm guessing like Daryl and anybody else who he's kind of been with. Hey, buddy. My dog is trying to get up here while I'm talking. Sorry about that. Shh. Shh. It's okay. In a second. But anyway, uh, he takes a selfie like on a Polaroid with his sister Judith. What? Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on, you guys. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. You want to come up with me? Come here. Don't get in the snacks. Come on. Up here. Come on. Hey. Come on. Up here. Come on. You're okay. Are you okay? Come here. I got you. Hold on. Sorry, guys. My dog's like all excited. Come here. Come here. Uh, come here. Uh, up we go. Hello. Say hello. What'd you do? What'd you get on your mouth? What have you been getting into? Are you okay? Oh, goodness. Okay, anyway, he's crazy. Sorry, my dog is insane. Anyway, so he takes a selfie on a Polaroid with his sister Judith. And, uh, you know, it's just that kind of, like, sad moment to see that happen. Oh, my goodness. And we see Morgan watching the sanctuary. People shoot walkers, like, to clear a path for themselves out. And Morgan, we see him, like, he lures, he's trying to get away because obviously he's in there. Um, and so he tries to get away and make a run for it. And we see him, like, lure these walkers, like, right where the saviors are coming out. And, of course, perfect timing. Uh, they come out, the walkers get the, the remaining saviors. So, um, we see Carol again, which we haven't seen her for a little bit, uh, you know, she's obviously been really, 
I guess, like, profoundly influenced by Ezekiel. And we can see that, like, with her demeanor, the change in her demeanor, like, this more peaceful acceptance of the world as it is, and almost, like, optimism for the future high uh, because of Ezekiel. And, um... You know, and we really see that with her. Not so much with uh, Morgan, obviously. Like, everything that's happened with Benjamin and that he's had a witness has turned him yet again, like when he lost his son, into this person that, you know, who knows what it's going to evolve into. Uh, hi. But uh, anyway, so we see Carl and R with Rick and Michonne. Basically, where the last episode left off. Um where he's bitten and he's like, you know, obviously sweating, he's running a fever, um, he's saying his goodbyes, he's kind of, you know, we have that, that drifter that we have seen previously that Carl ha had given food and water to and like kind of uh, reached out to uh, that Carl wanted to save, but Rick kind of like shot a warning shot and tried to get him to go away high uh, to go away as you can see he's really wanting my attention i apologize he's very needy today apparently but it's okay because i you know had him with a babysitter while i was at con so he's really really excited to have me back but anyway um so basically all he can really say at this point is i got bit you know and he says that multiple times you know i got bit and um so we see ezekiel uh, still with his you know, captor, the savior that captured him. Um, and it, it seems like he's kind of waiting for Negan, I guess, to come back and pass judgment or what have you. Um, and like, he's very calm. He's kind of reminding his captor, you know, this is your decision. You know, you are the author of this experience of this nightmare of this, you know, outcome, whatever it may be, you are the person that decides this. Um, and you can see some doubt, some self-doubt in that captor. Like, is this really the right thing? Like, am I really doing the right thing? So, I mean, you know, there is that. Um, so, Carol uh, finds Morgan because she goes off on her own. The little kid that was Benjamin's little brother wants to follow her. She says no because he's, he's young and she doesn't really want to expose him to that kind of murder or killing or however you want to look at it i mean it's war so however you want to kind of take that <laughs> he's giving me his paw uh is up to you and i mean so she finds morgan and they decide that they're gonna kind of go after this together and try to find ezekiel that's really their goal here so um it goes back to Rick and Michonne and Carl. Uh, we find out that this drifter, his name is Sadiq, and he's a doctor, uh, which obviously we really need right now. So, um, you know, it's kind of ironic uh, that he's in a situation where he's, like, dying from a zombie or walker bite and has a doctor, but no one can really help him, unfortunately, at this point. So, um you know, it, it, again, this whole episode is really kind of leading to it. So, I mean, and yet again, we see this spiral of Morgan and Carol, like there's an instance where he is killing these saviors and they obviously don't see them. They can escape and go right past them and don't have to even inter interact with them. But Morgan chooses, chooses to go after them and, and kill them. And like Carol tries to get him to avoid them and leave them alone and just let them be and he says no i can't i can't and just kills them just kills them so anyways um i mean she wants him to avoid them but i don't know what's up with morgan he's become that kind of you know kill first you know no questions asked kind of demeanor now so um but yeah and uh we see that flash forward again is the future and we see eugene asking judah to be his sous chef you know she's obviously considerably older she's like probably maybe eight to ten maybe i don't know um so uh carl actually says to judith like his goodbye to her is sometimes 
remember that kids have to show the grown-ups and the parents the right way uh, to remind them of the right path to remind them of their humanity almost um oh my goodness you're so 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 oh needy oh my goodness hello okay you can be right here with me okay so uh he also gives judith the the sheriff's hat so that's really that's really um touching of course and um carol and morgan it goes back to them again it's kind of jumping around what are you doing and uh carol morgan bust in to where uh they, they kind of uh section ezekiel off in like the theater which is where his throne was and they they section him off in there they're trying to get him in a confined space where they can con control the exits and the entrance into this uh place so they get him in there um and carol and, and morgan just bust in literally and take out uh, saviors, base, uh, knock them out. But of course, Morgan, he's like, no, we can't leave any alive. We have to kill them. Um, and anyways, um, more Carl goodbyes like to Michonne this time. He's telling her, you know, she's his best friend. Uh, he tells her not to carry this with her, which I mean... I mean, that's kind of an impossible request, if you think about it. Like, how can she not? Like, this is very heart-wrenching, soul-wrenching, you know, everything. So, um, Carl also says his goodbye to Rick. He's like, you know, thank you for getting me here. And like, not because he they move him out of the tunnel finally when the saviors leave. But he's like, thank you for getting me all the way here. Like, through everything we've been through... Um, you know, thank you for getting me here. And at, at some point, us as the, the watcher, like in that kind of fourth wall break, you kind of feel like not only is he, he is Carl thanking Rick, but he is Chandler is thanking Andrew, uh, the actor for getting him here in a, in a weird kind of way, you know? Um, so, you know, we have that, we talk, uh, Carl talks about, the kid that he shot back at the prison that has been haunting him and turned him into this kind of kind of dark person for a while really really it, he's so silly um but yeah he talks about how that like upset him and changed him um he he also reminds rick about his humanity he's like you know he, this is sadiq you know this is the man we saw at the gas station you know and he reminds him that sometimes we do need to save people that mm -hmm. you know yes y you can't always trust everybody but at some point you kind of got you have to rem remember your own humanity and give people the benefit of the doubt so uh he does remind him of that uh so it ends up like where you know we go back to where ezekiel's being saved by morgan and carol morgan has his has ezekiel's captor down on the ground and he or and he's got him up and he's about to kill him but he's having a little bit of a back and forth like carol and ezekiel are like no don't do this that you can't do this this is not right we can't like we can't do this we we you know because carol reminds him she's like you know you told us we could be better than the saviors that we could you know be that bigger person take the higher ground take the higher road whatever you want to call that <clears throat> hi and uh, Morgan's like, I can't, I can't let this go. I, you know, and instead of him killing the captor, uh, Ben's, Benjamin's uh, brother, little brother does. So that happens. Uh, so who knows what will happen with that? That's a heavy burden for any kid of his age to carry. So not really sure what's going to happen with that, but, uh, the we it's finally revealed that these flash forwards have actually been carl's like this whole time i actually thought that they had been ricks but they're in reality hi oh my goodness you can tell this baby is needy hello um the, the whole time they've been carl's instead of ricks so um so now we know and he reveals them to rick he's like you know i see the future i see you know us working together i see a bigger alexandria like where we're all there's a big garden judas older and she's happy you're happy you know there's more people uh we're all like a big community like michonne's happy like everybody's happy 
and uh, and you know Rick basically promises to make it real, to make that dream a reality. Like that's his final like promise and word to Carl is like, I promise I'll make this real, and what you see in your your vision. And what's funny is right as Carl like, because he kills himself, he chooses to kill himself. We see that Negan is in this garden that he is pictured, which, I mean, obviously by now, spoilers for you guys that don't read the comics, but right now we have gone so left field out of the comics, it's not even funny. Like, obviously Carl was meant to carry on the, the, uh, the, just kind of the, carry on the world and the, the patriarchy of this new community. He was meant to be this leader, uh, that like he's being conditioned in the comics to be like he date, he's dated, a a, 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 a whisper. Uh, like, I mean, there's so many things that we see in the comics that have not happened at all in the show. And, uh, hi. And, um, so, I mean, I guess those won't happen now that he's gone, but you know, um, and also, like, one thing I've been wanting to see is, like, if you read the comments, again, spoilers. If you don't want to hear that, you can stop now. I'm so sorry. Or you can kind of fa uh, fast forward. But comic spoilers, like, we all we also see Negan uh, jailed, like, uh, put into that. Like, we, we saw them earlier building a kind of a, a holding cell in Alexandria. And we know, those of us who have read the comics, that Negan is, at some point, is held there. Um, somehow. So, um, I won't get into all that. But anyway, so we haven't seen that. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, there's a lot of things that have gone way veered off from the comics. So, here we go again, uh, with Carl and his death. But anyways, and of course he saw Negan in the garden. And, I mean, really the final, final kind of view is, you know, that grave has been built and you know, that's kind of it. You know, Morgan's gone to the dark side. He's become a Sith almost. And, um, I mean, who knows what's going to happen next? I, I don't. So, I mean, you can kind of tell, um, I mean, there was, even to me, the acting, the, it became overacting a little bit this episode, you know, um, and it was very apparent with some of the characters like, uh, the, the captor, for example, that was killed, um, I just, I don't know. It just felt almost like forced this episode, you know, very emotional goodbyes, obviously. Um, but still, I mean, it was, it, you could kind of feel the awkward situation a little bit. I don't know the backstory, like I said. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I can feel that the series is kind of coming to its end. Like you can feel like the TV show. And I think even Robert Kirkman has said, that there may be, like, I don't know if there's only one more season. I mean, there's always those rumors that it's going to end soon, but I, who knows. So, we'll see, finally, I'm sure, if it'll end or not. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I I mean, you can feel it, like I said, fizzling out. A lot of people have stopped watching. Uh, I mean, obviously, we, we saw from the preview for the next episode or whatnot, it is going to be more Negan-centric, so maybe more people watch it. I don't know. Oh, my goodness gracious. He is jumping up everywhere. Hi. But anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys watching. That's all for my kind of talk about the episode of Honor, uh, which was uh, Season 8, Episode 9. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check out, like I said, the unboxing of the special editions of The Walking Dead 2 through 6. So you can see those awesome uh, box sets and how they're displayed and all that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube. We actually have a giveaway of a SNES Classic going on right now. So check out that video on how you can enter for the SNES Classic. Um, also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the nerdettes. We're also on Instagram and Twitter as at the nerdettes TN for Tennessee. So check that out. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and we're going to say bye. Bye. Say bye Phantom. Bye! Oh no, you want to give me kisses instead. Oh no. But we'll see you guys later. Bye!